In this class we will learn how to use the command for creating surfaces called boundary patch. Let's get started. With the inventor open, we click on new, select the group of metric templates and double click on standard, um, ipt. Okay, we are in the environment of creating surface models, where we will create this profile by applying the boundary patch tool. Which generates a surface from a closed 2D or 3D sketch. In this way, we start a 2D sketch to draw the profile and choose the XC plan as a reference. Let's create the base of the profile, which is a circumference 20 mm in diameter. We finish the sketch by clicking Finish Sketch. For the top profile, it is necessary to create a reference plane, then we select the Plane tool. Next, we will select a plan that will serve as a reference for creating the new plan. In the browser we open the folder origin and click on XC. We bring the mouse closer to the plane being created, left click and drag up. We inform the measurement of 13 mm for the distance between the planes and confirm. In the created plan, we start a 2D sketch. To maintain centering, we will design the circumference outline earlier, bringing its center to this sketch. We click on Project Geometry, select the circumference and have the projected geometry in the plane. We draw a circumference 8 mm in diameter. We hide the created plan by right clicking the mouse on the plan and clicking on Visibility. Let's now go to the application of the boundary patch tool, found in the surface tool group. We click on it and see that another window opens. In boundary the surface closing limit is specified. Under condition the names and conditions of the selected edges are specified. The automatic edge chain option sets the edge selection preference. By checking this option, all edges are automatically selected when we select the outline of the outline. By deselecting, only the indicated edges are selected. Let's choose the first surface region, which is the lower circumference. We click Apply to confirm. Now we choose the second region of the surface, which in this case is the upper circumference, and click on Apply. Let's close the template, selecting the two surfaces created. By clicking on this arrow, you can choose different ways to make the connection between the existing surface and the closing surface. Choosing G0 we will have only the application of contact between the surfaces. With the G1 option the inventor will create a tangents in the region of connection between the surfaces. Selecting G2 the inventor will apply a factor on the bonding of surfaces, smoothing the contact. We choose the G1 option and click OK. Ready, the surfaces have been created and observe the tangents applied to the bonding regions. Save this file as we will use it in the course sequence. In this class we know and apply the command boundary patch, which is very easy to use and very important for creating surface models.